If you are a golfer who fancies himself as a bit of a putter but likes the idea of maybe getting a bit more stability, forgiveness and help that you would see from a traditional blade style putter then maybe this is the video for you. Right, so I've made my way down to Wallasey Golf Club because we're going to test putters, we need some good greens and they don't get any better than this place right now. The club's in question, or the club in question, is in my right hand. But first of all, I want to talk about what is in my left, and that's a putter from Lab Golf. It's known as their Mez putter. It is incredibly stable, incredibly forgiving. By far, my favourite putter on the planet right now. But the problem is, a lot of people won't like the look of this. They just don't like the look of mallets. So Lab Golf have come up with this. Now, first of all, let's talk about the principle of Lab Golf, which stands for Lie Angle Balance. And that's very much the way this face is balanced and very, very different than what we'd normally see. Instead of sort of toe hang and face balance, this thing faces completely the wrong way. The principle and the idea and the weighting system is to get a putter head that stays in a stable position throughout and a square position throughout the swing of the club. I really bought into the concept. I love the idea. It also adopts a very much different sort of setup and address in a automatic sort of forward press position. Watch my videos on this product if you've not seen them before for more detail about the lab golf principle. But they had an issue and that is not everybody will like this rather strange looking put a head along with some of the others they've produced so far so the logical thing for them to do was to produce a blade but can you produce a blade putter with same sort of stability same sort of concept and principles as this and make it ultra forgiving visually playable for probably what consider themselves the better players or maybe the traditionalist. So Lab Golf's first effort at a blade putter comes first of all with an incredibly nice putter head cover. It is the Link 1 as it's known and although it's traditional in the sense that it is a blade putter, it's far from traditional in the way that it looks and the principles that it adopts. Now I've got this putter courtesy of our friends at Hot Golf and uh, these things are scarce to say the least. They're probably the hottest putter on the market right now and what I want to find out in today's video is uh, well first of all how it compares to the Mez. Can it adopt the same principles into a blade putter as a mallet because to be honest with you that I question. And let's start things off with a quick roll at a uh, 15 footer on these wonderful greens at Wallasey. Not the best of efforts to start things off, but I'm going to hit quite a few puts in and around this green. And I'll tell you my thoughts on the Lynx 1 and whether or not it would tempt me at all from switching from that Mez. Right, so we've tried a few putts from a few different angles, a few different lengths and a few different breaks. And the first thing that is same as the Mez is the face itself and how it feels off it, in my opinion, is really good. There's a nice balance between, it's fairly soft, I would say, um, but I love that interaction between, or responsiveness was the word, not interaction between club head and your hands. And you really do feel that putt ahead and it's very consistent in its role. From an alignment perspective, it's nowhere near as easy to align, in my opinion, of that of the Mez. It's a fairly simple line. It's a blade putter. There's not a great deal more they can do, obviously, in terms of that alignment. That's one of the difference between um, a mallet and a putter, in my opinion. And then the weighting system is very different. If you look from the top of the putter, you'll see two weights are very much forward in terms of their heel and then placed a little bit back in terms of the toe area and then turn the putter upside down and look from the base and you'll see four weights in at that toe and two in at the heel. That is all basically weighted so that, like I said, this blade putter can stay as square and as balanced as what you would find in a traditional mallet and I must admit 
through the putting stroke itself, it once again, like the Mez, has a great job of creating uh, an almost, like I said, pendulum effect. You've got to let your hands, uh, remove your hands from the stroke itself and let that putter head just swing. However, there are some differences, in my opinion, from that and the Mez, and I'll tell you what those are right, right now and whether or not I feel they're a positive or perhaps a negative. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf mega store, bringing you the hottest deals in golf, and of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. So, in terms of the style of putter being a blade, one thing you'd expect is kind of like the traditional, again, pistol grip that we see in many of the popular uh, blade-like putters. Now, for me, one of the big positives in terms of the Mez was the difference in the way the putter grip entered into the shaft and adopted a forward press position. In terms of what I've seen so far, I can't see that being an option in terms of buying the Link 1, so traditional grip meets traditional head but for me the forward press was a real positive from when trying that first mez putter but this isn't aimed at me i do feel like this is aimed at the better player and it's got all the attributes getting that you would expect from a blade so they've really replicated exactly what that player is looking for so i'm doing this review in a sort of uh the the mindset of the better player and not necessarily for mine so i would say that the grip for me is more appealing in that forward press that you can get in the mez and perhaps you can actually get that grip adopted into this link one putter but for the player that's looking for playing the blade then that's the kind of thing he's gonna expect and be more comfortable with so it makes sense but then this putter is all about stability. It's about minimizing torque, club head twist. Do I feel that the Link 1 does that? Does it achieve what it set out to do? And that's produce a blade putter that is, I suppose, forgiving. Let's see what this one does. Break a little bit, really good roll. The greens are superb here right now at Wallasey Golf Club. And the answer to that question is, yes, I do. And to be honest with you, I run this putter past Lewis Johnson, PGA professional yesterday, and got his opinion on it. And although I don't have it on camera, what I can relay is that he was that typical type of player who would like to use a blade, wasn't overly keen on the way the Mez looked, but really liked the way the Mez performed. And when he had a few rolls with that, he bought into the concept immediately and it's exactly what he was looking for. So it's about producing a blade that is forgiving and Lab Golf have done exactly that. I cannot criticize this putter, but for me, from a personal preference, a mallet style putter is more beneficial to suit my eye. But like I said, blade putter traditional in its looks but forgiving and stable this is without doubt a fine job that lab golf have done can we hold one with the camera on no we can't to finish we didn't hold too many with this putter on camera but i think to be fair the question for me would always be first of all blade or mallet and if you're in the blade camp then like i've already said this is definitely worth checking out it comes with a hefty price tag but i've already said in previous videos that we invest so much money in our driver then surely we should consider putting some of that money into a putter which we use probably twice as much as we do driver anyway that's me done i hope that one helped don't forget these are available from our partner hot golf because there are uh, there are very few of these around right now so if you do fancy one then make sure you go and check that out thank you to wallacey golf club for having us on a fine morning greens are fantastic as is the golf course that's me done i'll see you all tomorrow night